bad news, you've got poison ivy, what do you do next? So there are a variety of treatments and a lot of things that don't necessarily work. If you know you've come into contact with poison ivy, the most important thing is to wash with uh, cold water and soap. And it's a good idea to do this anytime you're out and you might have come into contact. There are also some products, one of them is called Technu, uh, which you can purchase for specially for removing poison ivy. And these things do work pretty well if you use them in time. It takes a while for the poison ivy oil to get through the skin to actually cause the irritation. So even if you don't wash off right away, you still are better off uh, taking the extra steps. But so let's say that you've had the exposure and now you have the rash. What do you do? Well, a lot of people know about home remedies, things like uh, oatmeal-based products or baths, and uh, over-the-counter things like calamine lotion. These work pretty well for mild cases. On top of that, the best initial treatment is a steroid cream such as over-the-counter 1% hydrocortisone. Now that will work for mild cases, but it may not do the trick for more severe cases. And some people will have more or less severe cases just based on their exposure history and how their immune system works. So if you get a really bad case, it's a good idea to come see your doctor or another uh, qualified health provider to have an evaluation. And there are a couple of things that we want to look for when we decide treatment. How much of it involved is how much of the body is involved? How long have you had the issue for? Is this a brand new case or are you suffering through a week of this? And I often ask people, are they sleeping okay? And uh, when people are having really bad cases, sometimes we'll use stronger steroid creams or we'll even go to steroid pills. Now for the worst cases, we put people on a steroid, usually something called prednisone, for up to three weeks. And this works very well, but this is a strong medication with a lot of potential for side effects. And so we try to be careful about it. And that's why it's important to deal with the prevention and the early treatment so that you don't get to that point. But when you do, that's one of the things that we prescribe. And the other thing that we want to watch out for is, does this poison ivy rash have an infection also? And so if you notice that you're having fevers, chills, or if there's anything that looks like pus coming out of the, the rash or the blisters, that's a reason to call your doctor or seek treatment immediately.